I am home. Oh boy. So it was a just a, a long day today. It was not a hard day, but it was a long day. Uh, and really the details don't matter, do they? It's just all travel bullshit. And it's not worth the drama of talking about it. Um, I'm on the selfie stick BS thing. I can't find my tripod. Uh, the downstairs is still uh, just a train wreck. Because, what do you want, buddy? There's no one here at the house. Just my two dogs and two cats. And we have one chicken left. The foxes got in amongst the hens. And uh, we lost a cat while I was gone as well. So, what was I going to say? Ah, uh, crud. What was I going to talk about? What was I saying? I forget already. I hate that. Anyway, I really have no idea. <laughs> so, here's what I'm going to do. That's right, tripod. So, I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time. I'm going to use this selfie stick thing, and uh, it's a problem. Um, I'm, I'm going to try, and I've got a bunch of things here that came uh, in the mail, and I want to I want to try and show you uh, some of it without... This is gay. Without uh, without um, waving the camera around like this, right? But it's magazines, and so I really want you to see... Uh, now, there's two magazines here. One, I think I've already done a review of the edition four of the R magazine. I've got edition five here. But I also have... Dory, 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 dory. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? That's a beer. Where is the game? There, there it is. Night of Man. I got Night of Man here. I want to do a shrink rip on that guy for you as well. I think it also has the Kickstarter expansion stuff in it as well. I'm not sure. There's another baggie with it. And uh, Mark sent that to me as a, uh, you know, as a, you know, promote show things to people do your best type of thing I think it's been sitting here for over a week so I really want to kind of get to that and then uh, do some gameplay at some point I played it once on Vassal and I thought it was fine I, it didn't was not particularly engaging on Vassal to me uh, but having just manhandled the counters in one of the baggies for the expansion they're really freaking sweet so uh, that's probably a topic I want to talk about at some point is the, what do we mean when we say we're going to print something or publish something on a certain date and just how bad is a delay? Uh, because it seems that we're forgiving depending on who the company is and who the person is. And I often think there's a lot of uh, personal vindictiveness that goes into the, the criticism of, uh, of what goes on in a, in a given company purely because there's some whether it's some emotional issue for the person who's sharing the content, the comment, or whether it's uh, uh, an emotional issue with the person that they're talking to, talking about, or with the company because they feel like the company's done them wrong, or, 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 or something like that. So, you know, it's hard to divorce some of that uh, commentary out of, you know, the, the noise that goes on in the marketplace. And I know... If, from my viewpoint, you know, I gave Lock and Load a really hard time because there were a lot of promises made that weren't kept, right? And those those promises had lots of good justifications for them and all that sort of stuff. And I was a you know diehard supporter all the way along up until a certain point when I put my credibility out in the line and shared with you guys that hey, things are going to get better and this is going to be fixed and this will be right and this is going to be great and it wasn't. Uh, to me, that's a valid reason to be disenfranchised with a with a, a company. But being pissed off because something's three or six months late or a year late, you know, whatever, right? It's just a game. It's not going to change your world. I know they've given you money. I'm going to try and put this camera down so it doesn't bounce everywhere. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, so, you know, if, I don't know, you look at the total war fiasco with the Europa system with those two knuckleheads up in Colorado, and, uh, yeah, sure, 10 years, okay, we got a problem, we got like a legal problem, 
But <clears throat> I think when when people do Kickstarters and they give us, we give them money, we give our money. I look for a couple of things. Am I more than likely going to get the game? I want to know that. Number one. Number two. Do is it something I'm interested in? First of all, and then number three. Uh, is it going to be within the bounds of expectation? Am I, and, and number four, like in terms of delivery time, and number four, am I getting discount, right? Because I, I, want, I want my Kickstarter, if I'm giving you my money now, you need to give me something in return. This is not just me giving you money so you can make a game. That's bullshit. You have to give me something that makes me feel like I should not wait for the retail version. And don't tell me you're only making 250 copies. If you're doing that, then you don't deserve to be in business. Do you? Maybe you do. Maybe you want an exclusive product. Maybe that's a smart strategy. I don't know. But maybe it's just a hobby for you, and maybe you shouldn't be in the business. Uh, I, I'm curious about where you guys fit with, sit with all this stuff. Because we've got companies like GMT who are making you know, 1,000 or 1,500 copies at a time of a game. And then companies that are making 250 or 400 400 copies like uh, Clash of Arms does. And I don't begrudge them doing that, but I really are appealing to more to the collector's market and the guys that, I guess, the you know the, the small handful of guys that play. I only know three people that play that game, that system. And I know there's more out there. Don't get all angry. But, uh, but it seems like there's an opportunity in this space for us in the tiny little war gaming world there's lots of publishers now we can have lots of dynamic one-off publishing small run publishing uh but at the high end high quality games and i, and I think night of man is going to be one of those games so it's a high quality game big box big counters thick counters good maps all that sort of stuff i haven't even pulled a shrink yet and i'm saying that uh but i've seen pictures uh i think there's very few companies that do that really well. Uh, GMT does it well. Um, Multimap Publishing kind of just does whatever the hell they want to do. I don't, I don't know where they're coming from. They don't communicate. They don't engage with bloggers or whatever. So who knows? Um, and, you know, Legion's out there. They're doing their thing and Revolution's doing their thing. So there's a, a swag of companies out there. And this became a long rant. I haven't even touched a magazine yet. So I'm going to... What, seven minutes? I'm going to post this video and come right back to you and work out how I can set this camera up so that I can show you the magazine uh, and uh, show you Night of Man. But since it's only seven minutes and 48 seconds or 50 seconds, I'm going to uh, continue my ramble for a couple more minutes. So my point I think I was trying to make was there's this lag to delivery from order and inception right and sometimes that can mean you know many 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 years like the bcs system has been tested for decades right well years <clears throat> and there's other games that have been you know in testing for years and a lot of that is to do with you know people's time because it's a hobby industry and there's not enough money in the industry to make it worth being in the industry 100% so I think the point I was trying to make is that we all should be a little more graceful with our uh, patience and our perseverance with game manufacturers and these guys who put their blood, sweat, and tears in to make, you know, three, four hundred bucks or a thousand bucks or a couple of thousand bucks out of a game. You know, let's not even talk about the designers that don't make a penny, right? They're paid in friggin' GMT stock or MMP stock or for the, just for the love of it, right? Uh, so yeah, so let's let's be uh, let's be a little more patient, a little kinder, and a little nicer. And all you grumpy old bastards out there need to lighten up a little bit. Later.